But it's Chris Appleton and I'm so excited today because I'm going to be showing you how to go from this to this. So for any prom, I always think glam hair never goes out of fashion. So I'm going to show you how to do some really big, sexy, kind of half up, half down Barbie style hair. What we're going to do for step one is we're going to be using these old school heated rollers. Heated rollers are a great way of getting volume and bounce into your hair. So we're going to get those through the hair, starting at the front. and then just secure with a little pin. Now these are actually pretty old school, but honestly, one of the best ways to get lots of volume and curl in your hair without doing too much. I just tend to find if you're doing your hair at home, trying to use curling irons can be a little bit fiddly. These you can whack in, you can even take really big sections. You just wanna get some volume and bounce into the hair. Okay, so once all the rollers are in, this is effectively what it should look like. So starting at the top, all the way down to the bottom, and then you just put them in either side and down the back. The bigger the roller, the bigger the curl, the smaller the roller, the tighter the curl. So I think just use big ones because we want really voluminous, bouncy looking hair. All right, so it's been in for 15 minutes, so we're just gonna take out the roller and you should get something that looks like this. So the hair should be really bouncy and springy without you having to do too much. Let me make sure you can see those ends. So it should just be bouncy like that. Now it's really hard to get that bounce um, from using a curling iron because the heat sometimes takes away the volume. And for this look, you need a lot of volume. All right, so now the rollers are out, you should get something that looks like this, a really bouncy, kind of voluminous hair. You can see how much volume is in the hair. Now, don't brush it out at this point. What I want you to do, you use the Colorwell Extra Shine Spray. This is my secret kind of weapon to really glossy, expensive looking hair. And trust me, shiny, expensive looking hair never fails to turn heads. All right, now what we're gonna do, whilst that sinks in, is we're gonna take a section um, above the ear, and we're gonna basically pull the hair up off the face. Now, what I want you to do, and the really important part of this look, because it's not just a half up, half down, you need to directly go vertically up with this ponytail. So you don't wanna go back here, you wanna follow this cheekbone and go right up, and then you wanna place the half up ponytail right on top of the head. You can either use a tail comb like this to take your section, so starting from the crown, you can section it out like that. And if you're not a professional and you feel like you can't do that, just use your fingers as a guideline. All right, now we've got the section. So I like the way that section, you can see we're gonna follow the cheekbone. Use the Colorwell Court Favorite Hairspray. So I like to use a lot of this because I think for me, what makes the look look cool is when this is really flat and snatched off the face and then you've got all this volume and curl from the back. That's what makes it look kind of eye-catching and a little bit different. So you don't have to be light with the product. I always like to kind of use a lot. I'll open it up a little bit and make sure I put it all in at the roots, but none of the product should go on the ends at this point. All right, when I'm tying, I like to use these blank elastics because they really secure the hair. So I put one elastic round, but what I like to do sometimes is just go in with a second one just to make it really secure. I like it tight at the root here because it gives you a much more volume to your ponytail and it ensures you're not gonna go anywhere. Now, if any of you guys have these areas, like these shorter bits, like bangs that stick up, don't worry. What we're gonna do is just take a little bit more of the cool favorite. So grab your hairspray, um, and take the shorter sections. And what I want you to do is just basically spray lots of hairspray on it. And then we're gonna wrap them around the base of the ponytail. So any little short areas that anyone has, don't worry about it, because we can actually use that to hide the ponytail and give it a little bit more of a look. All right, guys, so now we've got the ponytail in. As you can see, it looks great around the sides because it's really snatched. No prom hairstyle would be complete without an accessory. So I'm gonna add one of these accessories to the base. They effectively just come on like a little clip. You can use anything. You can use jewelry. You can use um, necklaces are a great way of accessorizing. This one just has a hook in. So I'm just gonna literally hook it in around the base of the ponytail just to give it a little bit more of a wow factor. All right, so one last blast of the extra shine spray. This is gonna be your best friend whilst you're creating the style. Make sure you give it a good old blast. At this point then, what I like to do is I just shake the style out with my fingers. You don't need to go straight in and brush it. Depends how you like your style to look. So basically kind of just use your fingers and just shake the curls out or go in with a brush, which I'm gonna do now and brush the curls out. So what you can do as well is use a little bit of the shine spray on the brush. Sometimes I like to do that just to get even more shine. The great thing about this product is it won't get greasy. And this will actually help to control as you brush the curls out. It will stop it from getting frizzy and stop the hair from fluffing up too much. I just think it looks a little bit more kind of cooler when the curls are brushed out. It looks a bit more glamorous 
and you can start to see all the volume come out. All right, guys, this is the finished look. So you've got that voluminous, shiny, glossy, half up, half down Barbie look. I'm obsessed with this because I think it looks really cool, but it's really glamorous and you can see how much kind of volume and shine you get just from using the heated rollers. But the most important part is just adding that extra shine spray so you get that real bouncy kind of curl. And like I said, don't be afraid to brush your curls out. I think it's really important to um, kind of remember that this look is about volume and bounce as opposed to super, super curly hair.